Select the semicircle on the revolve layer. Then go to the menu effect, 3D, and choose Revolve. Click Preview, and here we've got a sphere. So basically, this effect works by revolving the shape around its y axis. That's why revolving a semicircle like this results in a sphere. And it wouldn't be the case if the semicircle was rotated on a different angle. So, revolve effect is great for creating any objects which have a rotational symmetry. For example, I can make a neat meta ball from this shape I've got here. Or I can make a cone from this shape. Ok, this is cool. Though it is not as nearly as cool as what else you can make using the revolve effect. Let's have a look at what we can make from this unassuming circle here. In the revolve effect, here we've got all the same settings for position, caps and surface as we've seen in the extrude and bevel effect. But here we've got two other settings which are unique to the revolve effect. So the first one here is angle, and it sets the number of degrees the 2D object is rotated. So to go a full circle we need 360 degrees. But if you reduce the number, I suggest you do it manually by typing here, you'll get a much more exciting shape. Again, Illustrator can have a few problems here, so you need to turn on and off the preview and click elsewhere in the window to see the changes. Ok, this is neat. But here we also have an option for offsetting the axis from the right or left edge of the object to create a bigger hole in the middle. And this is really cool. So even if you go a full circle here but offset it, you'll get a donut-like shape which in geometry is called torus. So, these settings allow tons of opportunities when you start working with different shapes. You can create wedges from shapes like this, or you can make funny things like this. So play around and see what you can come up with. Now let's have a look at how we can further customize the appearance of our 3D objects.